Let's take a look at this very famous problem 6 of the International Mathematical Olympiad 1988. It says, let a and b be positive integers. Prove that if a b plus 1 divides a squared plus b squared, then a squared plus b squared over a b plus 1 is a perfect squared. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This problem was described as a super hard problem by the proposers themselves. However, eventually, 11 students managed to solve this problem at the real contest in the IMO 1988. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a very elegant intelligent solution produced by Mr. Imanu Atanasov from Bulgaria. The trick used in this solution is later named as Vieta Jumping. Starting out with a solution, we can rewrite the given expression into a quadratic equation and with the help of the Vieta's formula, which involves sum and product of roots of polynomial equations, we can generate, or in other words, jump to another solution, which is smaller than the one we started with. By iterating, something will go wrong. This is actually very similar to the infinite descent trick, so let's see how it works. So I'm going to start off by letting a squared plus b squared over a b plus 1 equals k, which is some integer, or to, to be more precise, a natural number that is from the given condition. And, of course, we assume that it's not a perfect squared. Starting with a proof by contradiction. Now, let one of the solutions to be big A, big B, be a solution to the above equation, such that A plus B is minimal. Also, uh, by symmetry of the above equation, I can say with the loss of generality, A is larger than or equal to B. So that equation becomes A squared plus B squared equals k times a b plus 1 and so a squared minus k b times a plus b squared minus k equals 0. Now that means a this big a is the root to the equation x squared minus k b times x plus b squared minus k equals 0 and for this quadratic equation surely there must be a second root. So I'm going to let a, a and a1 be the roots to this equation. And now I can bring in the Vieta's formula. The sum of roots should be kb and the product is b squared minus k. The aim of using the Vieta's formula is to, is to show that this a1, the second root, is not just simply the root of this quadratic equation, but also the solution, a valid solution to the original expression, which is that, in other words, I'm going to show that this big a1 is a positive integer. So from the first equation, big A1 is KB minus A. And because KB and A are all integers, we know that big A1 is an integer. From the second equation, A1 equals B squared minus K over big A. And because K is not a perfect squared, surely this is not zero. 
So we have shown that it's an integer, and to show that it's positive, we need to show that it's not zero and also that it's not negative. Noting that the fact that big A1 is a root tells us this expression equals k and this k is positive together with the fact that a1 squared plus b squared is also positive this part a1b plus 1 should also be positive and from this we can already tell that big a1 is positive so because it's positive as an integer, so therefore a1 is a natural number, which means it's a valid solution to the above, to the starting expression, this one. However, this big a1 is in fact a smaller solution than the one that we start off with. This is because b squared minus k is less than or equal to a squared minus k by the assumption that we have made with the loss of generality. And this is clearly smaller than a squared. So b squared minus k over a is smaller than a, which means a1 is smaller than a. So a1 plus a1 and b It's another solution, but the sum of the two numbers is more than a plus b, which contradicts its minimality. And this contradiction only arises because we've assumed that k cannot be a perfect squared. So therefore, a squared plus b squared over a b plus 1 must be perfect squared. So yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.